Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is about the topic that most of you demanded and told me to say. It's about how to attempt AIMS physics. So it's a very well known fact that AIMS physics is one of the toughest among the medical entrances and even the tough engineering entrance physics questions are also at a par with AIMS level. So how to handle physics, how to go about AIMS physics. So today I will be discussing with you this topic. So first of all, I would tell you don't attempt physics in the beginning. Attempt easier sections like biology, like GK. If you have read GK, then attempt GK first. If you have read GK, but if you haven't read GK, don't attempt GK first because initially you need to build up your confidence. You need to boost up your confidence and that will help you a lot psychologically this matters a lot in the exam so initially after attempting the easier sections of biology or gk you will feel quite confident because you have attempted around 55 plus questions out of 60 questions and that too most of them would be correct so that will build up your confidence and that will help you to solve the difficult questions of physics because ultimately it's about the temperament and your confidence see most of the aspirants have good preparation so it's about the execution in the examination hall that matters the most i can tell you one trick that uh, can boost you up psychologically in the exam hall imagine yourself to be the best this helps a lot because suppose if you are not able to solve a particular question you think this way if i am not able to solve then no one can solve so i need not take pressure and i should move on to the next question so if you are not able to solve a question it won't bring your morale down it, instead it will give you confidence of solving the next question yeah i am not able to solve this question so what no one can solve it i am the best next question i will solve and i will get a good rank this strategy definitely works it has worked for me and i got 100 percentile in aims physics so this has really worked for me so for physics i would say that you at first go with the assertion raising portion because the assertion raising portion is not about tough numericals lengthy numericals it's about the statements and in my previous video i have already discussed with you how to prepare about assertion reasoning and I, I hope that you have done it thoroughly so you won't face much problem in assertion reasoning except in three four questions where there will be a perennial confusion between option a and b whether it is correct explanation or not so leaving those three four questions you will be able to solve the rest 15 16 questions very easily out of those 20 questions and that will give you confidence because if you are able to solve 15 out of the total 60 physics questions that's one fourth of the paper that's 25 percent and that will give you confidence my dear friends in the rest 40 questions even if you do 20 questions correctly that's good enough to get m's daily provided you have done very well in biology chemistry and gk so never ever feel that this qu the questions are tough i am not able to do it because if your morale is down if your confidence is low on seeing a difficult question you will make mistakes in easy questions as well and those easy questions will seem tough to you so while attempting physics uh, you initially attempt the assertion reasoning portion and after that you scan through the rest of the 40 questions and spot out the easy questions there will be some easy questions where it like it will be about find the magnetic field at some point find the electric field at some point find the electric potential difference between two points so there will be some easy questions and by the way most of your physics paper is expected to be biased towards electromagnetism you won't get tough mechanics problems of 100 pulleys and 100 masses they won't give you such problems but it will be mostly biased towards electromagnetism so be mentally prepared for it okay and uh, also practice rotation mechanics a bit and try to spot out those easy questions to solve all of them correctly so i would say you should read each and every question thoroughly 
don't get demoralized and think that it, well this question is tough i won't even read it maybe that's the easiest question my dear friend so never miss it and you can surely do it and never ever be sad and frustrated and devastated that you have attempted only say 35 to 40 questions out of the 60 questions in physics no that is good enough i have my friends here in ems delhi i have my juniors i have my seniors and some of them have attempted around 35 physics questions only and still they are in ems delhi so if they can why not you you can also do it so best of luck guys and in the comment section do let me know how did your paper go and by the way for those guys who are uh, attempting the paper not this year but next year i have a uh, an awesome plan for you and i will start making videos and uploading them once this year's aims exam gets over we have plenty of time in hand and i will guide you thoroughly to work in your journey so don't worry guys just wait for one week and i will upload videos for you people and for those of you who are giving it this year only so after your exam i will tell you about the various colleges the various opportunities i will tell you about college life so you must be imagining a lot about medical students life so i will tell you the reality as well the pros and cons so stay tuned guys for now best of luck give your best you can do it why not